Alright guys, welcome to a new and improved Throwdown Thursday. Today is a beautiful morning. We missed a snowstorm, or rather the snowstorm missed us. And we're going to be doing some topic, uh, some topics and the Throwdown of the Mods. We'll have the iJoy Diamond and the iQune face off against each other. I've just put in fresh coils. The one where I did the video before was when... Ooh, excuse me, was when I've been using the coils recently, but these are fresh coils, so we'll get to see the full performance of these. We'll have the point one five coil in the cap in the captain tank, and we'll have the point. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's see. And we'll have <laughs> and we'll have the point two coils in the uh, in the IQ Knight two hundred Smock Baby Beast flavor palette for today will be the Nillionaire series of the Mango Raspberry strike that just Raspberry today and in the IQ uh, I'm sorry sorry the I Joy will have the Strawberry by Zaba. I'm a little excited, you guys are probably wondering, but if those are the throwdowns, what are you vaping on right now? Well, of course, my iQun as my go-to mod, but and because the iJoy is just finishing charging up, going to make sure these things are fully charged. This is at 100, and that's going to be at 100 in a few minutes. So while we're waiting for that to charge up a bit, how about we talk about what's been going on? So recently... Um, the, and the job is good. my job at Dollar General has been going really good. Uh, I actually just finished working a shift from four to nine thirty last night. It was quite a hectic day. I was running around the shop. I was uh, mopping. I was sweeping. I stocked all the shelves. I was uh, and while I was doing all that, I was running the register. We had um, this one person who came in, and he was just this older gentleman who you wouldn't expect bought a whoopee cushion and I was just finishing up counting the money because you have to do what's um, called a drop every so often so you'd count the money and you'd go through it make sure you have more than 200 and if it says cash pickup due then you have to take this um, usually about a hundred bucks out and put it in the safe now I was working on that counting the money myself making sure I had enough and then counting the amount to put away Usually it's a hundred bucks or more, sometimes a little more. So I'm counting the money and lo and behold, all of a sudden I hear <laughs> and I was not expecting that because it was just the loudest fart ever. I look up after from my startled reverie and I see a giant whoopee cushion just sitting there. I'm like, boy, you scared the heck out of me. And he's, and he's just sitting there. This wasn't, like, elderly, elderly. It was just middle-aged guy. And he's just laughing his rear end off at me, going crazy. I was dying. Oh, for those of you who have seen the post on Facebook saying that no profanity will be allowed from now on, I mean, from April 1st on, give a guess as to why it says April 1st. Well, for those of you who see it, April Fools! <laughs> there will still be profanity allowed, even though it's not really my forte. I just wanted to carry that little info chan along. But yeah, the job went, has been going really well at Dollar General. I'm really enjoying it. Making some money, trying to save up for both my wedding and me and my fiance's wedding and going to Virginia. So now that that's fully charged, I'm going to take this the eye joy off the charger. There we go. There we go. We got it ready to go. And she's all charged up. Look at that. Okay, let's try and hit off that. Now, seeing as it's the morning, got to have a little something to cleanse the palate so we have even taste of the vape. Now, I guess you can guess what this is. Coffee to keep you running. Mmm. Oh. Heaven has come to earth. 
Oh my word, that is the way to go. All right, so throwdown today will be the iQoon versus the iJoy Diamond on fresh coils. We got the Millionaire Raspberry Series in here from Substyle Vape, and we'll have the Zaba Strawberry from SS Vape. We're going to do a comparison of the juices, and then we're going to do distance and flavor-wise. So what you guys are looking for here to judge on this cloud comp is... So I'll be standing here, and you want to see. And we want to see how far. Hey, baby, we want to see how far the clouds go. We can we have a second judge here too. So we'll see how far the clouds go, how thick it is, and the flavor. So Ari will be the smell comp, so she can tell you guys how how good it smells compared to the rest of them. So it'll be a throw. Hey, you know well, either way, she doesn't have I to. Have a stuffy nose. Oh, okay, she does have a stuffy nose. But so basically, what we're looking for is distance, vapor production, and flavor. So I'm going to start with the IQ and I200 with Smock Baby Beast, and we'll see the, how far the cloud goes. Ready? Here we go. This is at 80 watts with 3.90 volts, and it's reading the resistance at 0.19 ohms. So let's see how she goes. Ready? And go. That cloud went further. It went all the way. The thickest vapor cloud went all the way across. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's do one more just to make sure we got this. Oh, we're running a little low. Hold up. I haven't filled this in a while. So it's about time we fill this up. And I'm like, am I not drinking coffee? No, she's not drinking coffee. She's drinking what she likes to call her boiled leaf water. It is... As, mm, <laughs> yep, it's tea. She absolutely loves it. She loves it more than coffee, ironically. <laughs> yep. All right, so we're all filled back up and we're ready to go. I'm gonna need you to close that hunt so I have some room. All righty. So we're fully and we're filled up to the top. Let's do one more hit. More than an arm's length apart, almost. So if I'm standing here, she went from all the way over there. You can touch the camera. Yep. That's about how far she was all the way across. That's pretty awesome for cloud distance. So next up will be the iJoy Diamond from iJoy with the PD270 and fresh .15 coils. <laughs> Ready? Let's see how she, how she works. We're at 60 watts, 12.4 amps. 3.30 um, ohms and 4.31 volts. So we're going for cloud comp uh, cloud distance, vapor production, and flavor. The flavor on the last one was pretty good. I loved it a lot, but let's see how well the Zaba does. This is basically SS Vape versus Substyle. Let's see how she does. This one actually went to the door. Really? The vapor production went to the door? Mm -hmm. Wow. It started like smoking out here, but then it... Was it, thi yeah. was it thicker than the IQ, or was it thin or was the vapor production I thinner? I don't have to see it again. All right. Then let's see. Ready? Here we go. Thinner, actually. Yeah. The clouds are thinner, but they go further. Yep. But you also vapor at 60, that was on the 80. Yeah, but it doesn't. The water doesn't really matter about vapor production as much. Sometimes lower resistance means you need low. I mean, lower resistance means you need lower wattage to get bigger vapor production. So yeah, I'm very happy with the flavor. Very happy with um, the taste Bye. of it. Bye, baby. And um, definitely a good flavor. I think I'm sticking with my IQ right now for a bit. Definitely good flavor. Uh, I'm gonna and do something real quick with this so I can fix the camera adjustment. Sorry guys. Yeah, the camera's just being a little um, miffy right now. Yeah, it was just taking a little bit of time to fix. Um, sorry about the delay. So yeah, basically the flavor palettes on these are the raspberry from Nillionaire. Amazing fla flavor. I'm running low on that as you can see. And then I've got my Cool Breeze from Naked 100, or Polar Breeze in this case. 
the award-winning tobacco-flavored vape, 13th floor Django. Now, I do have, this is the Bermuda bottle from 13th floor, but it's actually King of the Clouds Canela Vanilla. That's because I, uh, the bottle from the other one broke, and I had to put it in there after I did my review. That's okay, right? We got our clouds, we got our flavor, we're not having any trouble. Coffee is a very good palate cleanser. It works really well to get your flavors back, makes the flavors nice and fresh. Um, definitely a good way to start. Um, so I was waiting for this to wick up a bit more because I had put the, fr the coils in just earlier and I was noticing a bit of a burnt hit. And I didn't want that to continue to ruin my coil, so I actually, and when I was pausing it, I turned the wattage down a little bit so I could get this ready to go. I've got it down to 42 watts right now, which is reading at 4.5 volts. The flavor is nice and rich at this point. I just didn't want it um, to get messed up, so I'm turning it back up to 50 right now. Flavor is definitely going well. So I think it's safe to turn it up to 60 now. Here we are with 3.93 volts and ready to vape. This thing can rip at 234 volt, I mean watts, but I like to keep mine at the 60 range because <laughs> 234 would max this coil right the heck out. So here we go at 60 watts, I think it's safe. Oh yeah, so that can about, blah blah blah, <laughs> I can't brain today, I has the dumb. So, next up will be probably a review of the Zaba Vanilla. I don't know when that's coming in. I'm really hoping for it. I really want it. Um, Zaba is a pretty good e-juice line. I'm loving it a lot. But, yeah, never really getting tired of the vape mods. The next acquisition I hope to get for a Vapor Mod will probably be the Mag Kit or the T-Priv. I've been looking forward to that, those mods for a while simply because the T-Priv changes colors and the um, Mag Kit has, it looks like a gun. The Mag Kit has this magazine for the batteries that you just slot it into place and you're like, bow, 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 they come busting out. <laughs> That's a good song. It's by Waka Flock, I think. Ah, whatever. But yeah, that about wraps things up for the Throwdown Thursdays. This was the iJoy Diamond and the iQune i200 Throwdown for the co um, battle of the freshest coils. So fresh coils are like heaven when it comes to vaping. When you've been vaping on a single coil for roughly about three to four weeks, about a month roughly, you're like, oh, okay, the flavor's kind of muted. You're not getting the flavor you want. The flavor just goes like, uh, But then when you put in those fresh coils, you're like, heaven has come to earth. It's one of the best things you can imagine when you're a vapor. I actually ran into two vapors yesterday while I was working, and it really helped that I had seen a lot more people um, who had vapor mods than smoking. But the downside was being a vapor and someone who is an advocate for vaping and helping people stop smoking, to work in a retail where you sell cigarettes, you feel like you have a hand in their cancer or whatever whatever harm comes their way from the cigarettes and that's why I try to help people out that as much as I can like if I'm on break and I see someone smoking a cigarette then I'll use my advocacy there but if I am on my work I can't really sell or promote vaping but yeah that's what it is And of course, my iJoy Diamond is just firing up perfectly thanks to those fresh coils. 
It's amazing. I love it. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for tuning in to the Visual Vapor Reviews. Next up will be, let's see the schedule. Saturday, Spontaneous Saturday. By then, my new cards will have come in. My brand new collector's edition by Orica, animated edition, um, Exodia cards for my deck. Those will be really special. I can't wait to add them to my deck. Those are coming in on Friday, and I'm really excited. But yeah, so, and then on Monday, I'll have my final edition to my Dual Monsters deck, which will be my winged dragon of raw it is the dual monsters edition for um for collectors it has a foil finish so it's going to be really special those six cards the five pieces of exodia plus the winged dragon of raw will be the completion of my deck i'll finally have had every rare card that i'm after besides the dark magician so after that, I'll be hunting down the Dark Magician, and that will be a completion to my Collector's Edition deck. After that, who knows, they'll, there's always coming out with new rare cards. And as a rare hunter, I'm always looking for rare cards to pick up. So, yeah, this was the Throwdown Thursdays and a makeup for Topic Tuesdays. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Visual Vapor Reviews. I'm your host, Michael Cobb, and these are the Visual Vapor Reviews. Thanks, guys. See you next time on Saturday for the Spontaneous Saturday do-overs. Peace, guys.